I showed you guys a chart the other day that I realized would maybe need a little bit of color added to it. I'm going to show you guys how there's a lot of oil that's being bought indirectly by America, and maybe it's even in your vehicle right now, that is actually sanctioned oil. We'll get into that chart in one second. But I also want to show you something that one of my programmers sent to me, and it's about real estate and about a possible real estate collapse. And lastly, what is everybody talking about? It's what's going on with Russia. This is absolutely huge, and we need to talk about a few things about this. I showed you this chart the other day. It's basically, since the outbreak of war, how much oil did Russia sell, and where did it all go? Most people believe that we don't use or buy Russian oil anymore. That isn't the case. I'm going to show you exactly right now from this chart where all the Russian oil is going, and some of it's even in your car probably. On this chart, you'll see that Russia sold 22 million tons of crude oil to Turkey over this time frame. Turkey used up about that much, two-thirds almost. And then they sold a bunch of the leftover oil that they had. It's an inventory. It has value. There are countries that will pay for it. And they sent it to the European Union. And they sent a little bit to America. And then you've got Russia selling discounted oil to India. They bought 87 million tons of crude oil. They used up about three quarters of it. And then they had leftover oil that they have to then sell, either use it, store it, or sell it. Most countries will then sell it to other countries. You can see on the chart how India then sold the remaining oil to Australia, a little bit to Japan, more to Britain, and the most of it to United States and European Union. And China used up almost all of the oil that they imported. But if you take a look at the chart here, you'll see that they then sent a bunch to the European Union and a little bit to Australia and negligible amounts to Japan, Britain, and the United States. And what this is all telling you is that oil as a commodity has the same value everywhere. So if you have leftover oil, you're going to want to capitalize on that by selling it if you're not going to use it. A lot of countries got discounted oil from Russia. They then used up some of it and they sent a bunch more to other countries. Some of it goes to America, to our refineries to be turned into fuel for our cars. And you know that a lot of the oil coming out of Russia going to India was at a $30 a barrel discount at first. And it's still got a discount on it. So if they're selling oil to Australia, they're selling it at a fair value for that commodity, which is about $30 more. They're just printing free money. They're getting cheap oil from Russia and passing it on to other countries that are paying full pop for it. Russia's basically giving India a whole bunch of money. And this is a link that was sent to me from Marshall, one of my computer guys. It's about U.S. short sellers betting on a Canadian housing market crash. They called it last time and they're calling it again now. And the one thing about the Canadian real estate market compared to the American real estate market the Canadian market got even more extreme of a bubble. It got much larger, much more out of reach. And the crash that's going to come will be harsher in Canada. And it's already begun. It'll be harsher in Canada than what you're going to see in America. Large Wall Street investors made billions in the U.S. housing market collapse in 2008. And now those same speculators are betting on real estate values in Vancouver and other Canadian cities crashing. They believe there's a housing bubble in Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary, and other Canadian cities. Correct, 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 and correct as well. They believe Canadians hold too much mortgage debt. Also correct. And that Canadian banks, mortgage issuers, and subprime private lenders will lose money on unpaid loans when property prices fall. Congratulations, that's exactly correct. The cross currents are beyond crazy in Vancouver. It's a mix of money laundering, speculation, and low interest rates. Said Mark Cahodes, once called Wall Street's highest profile short seller by the New York Times. A house is something you live in, but in Vancouver you guys are trading them like penny stocks on Howe Street. Hey Mark, come on, take it easy. He says Vancouver real estate has reached peak insanity, and any number of factors could trigger a collapse. I would say that that's also accurate for Toronto, many other Canadian cities, but also a lot of the cities in the States as well. A lot of houses are overvalued, especially in light of the upcoming recession, 
when that happens, you'll watch what happens to the real estate prices. So what can I say about what's going on in Russia right now? That's a great example of what is an actual black swan event. Very few people would have expected it to play out like it is. And now that Prigozhin's exiled himself, people are thinking, they're letting their guard down, they're thinking that this is almost a problem that now has gone away. This is just the beginning. This is a statement that this is only going to get more extreme and you have to keep a very close eye on everything going on with Russia in terms of what could become a civil war or an uprising or a coup. All of that makes you want to be invested in things that are more stable and have a risk premium that builds into them, such as gold. But if you're watching anything on the news right now, watch what's going on with Russia and keep an eye on it. It is just beginning. It is not over. Now that Ukraine is bringing the fight to the Russians, what impact will it have on a leadership in Moscow that's already feeling the pressure? The infighting has actually started. This channel is about you and your economic understanding, your economic awareness. How do you make the best decisions for you in every moment? All you have to do to get more information like this is just subscribe to the channel.